I'm with Ardy Valkamp and, uh, and Richard, his partner, that uh, did very well over in the uh, uh, over in Bolsena last yeah. year and the team runner here. Yeah. We're now over a completely different section of the lake that you fished last year. And in fact, this section last year, there was a beach area right the way along here, but as you can see, the water level's up very, Much very higher. high. Yeah. The wind's That's just starting to blow in your area. So yeah. how are you feeling? I'm feeling more confident because the wind is really coming in now and it's supposed to be like this for the, the last days. So uh, we checked with the underwater camera where we pre-baited a, a long area and we find a, a gully between the high weed, uh, Richard, yes, yes. and uh, Lars went with him on the boat and they uh, looked also with the underwater camera and all the bait was gone. We put a lot in, I mean, maybe 20, 30 kilo, and it was all gone. No right. boilies, nothing, nothing left. So the fish is feeding, only we don't know if it's carp or small fish. Sure. Because I think if it would be carp, we would get runs. Yeah. But it's packing up now the wind, and yeah, we we'll hope that we still can catch some fish. If you see the, the surroundings, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And we got no uh, anglers on this side, so the fish can come in, there's no pressure, only on the left side. There's one uh, team fishing, and uh, we, we love it here. It's just we're waiting for the fish. <laughs> yeah. I'm here with Ricardo Battisti, and Ricardo's partner is actually uh, uh, Daniele. He's preparing the baits, uh, getting ready to go out. Ricardo, you fish this lake a lot. I understand you've actually had some good success in the competition now. We had two fish the last night, and the um, total uh, weight was around uh, 27 kilo. Uh, but now we were uh, in the first of the, of the section from two days, three days, and now the guys in, uh, in the other section, in the other uh, peg, they are catching another carp, so they are up to us. Oh, goodness me, so there's what, one fish in it at the yeah, moment? Yeah, we need one fish. It's very, very close. But uh, this is an area that's produced plenty of big fish in the past. Uh, I know that on an earlier trip I saw a fish that was over 50 pounds uh, caught literally just, uh, just down the, uh, in, the, in the next peg to you. So there are big fish in this area? For sure there are, but um, in the last year was uh, September and this year is uh, one month later, so the lake is changing because it's, it's preparing for the winter. So maybe the big carp, they are moving in another area or uh, they are stopping, you know. So Ricardo, what would it mean if you were to win this event? We will start to cry from the first second that we will know. <laughs> Anyway, we are young and we want to grow up in this world. So if you win the if you win the World Cup Classic, will be like an uh, emotional things for us. It's very important. Okay, well, good luck, and I look forward to coming back down here again and seeing some other fish being caught. See you later. Okay, see you later.